Now let's take a look at how work area templates can help you estimate faster and better for snow. Setting up templates takes a little bit longer than production rates, but they're more powerful and they do more for you as well. The biggest difference between a work area template and a production rate calculator that we just looked at is that work area templates allow you to calculate not only labor, but also equipment, material quantities, whereas a production rate calculator was limited to just labor. They take a little bit longer to set up, but because they include production rates for all item types, and they allow you to set up notes that can be automatically added to proposals, work area templates are a better tool, they just take a little longer to get working. Let's take a look now at how to set up a work area template. I'm going back to my LMN here, and I'm in the item catalog in the template section. And let's add our first work area template for snow plowing. I'm gonna go up here and hit new, and I'm gonna call this lot plowing. And in brackets, I'm gonna go truck average lot. So this is a template that I'm gonna use when we're plowing with a pickup truck and doing an average lot. I'm gonna to go to the items now so I can start adding labor equipment and materials to this template. So I'm gonna go up to add items. And the first thing we're gonna add is a plow driver. Next, I need a truck with a plow and salter. So I'm gonna add that there as well. Now, if you send a dedicated salt truck afterwards, you do this in two steps. You just send a truck and a plow. And then we can add another piece of equipment, truck and salter. But here I'm just going to send a combined unit. And then I'm going to go to material. I'm going to do a search for salt. And I'm going to add bulk rock salt. Now I'll close this down to get it out of the way. And what we can do now is set up our production rate calculators. So here in my production rate, I'm going to set a time for labor that says we can do 0.8 acres per one hour. So it's going to take us one man hour to plow 0.8 acres. I'll save that. Our truck is gonna be identical because the labor needs a truck to plow. So again, 0.8 acres per one hour. We'll save that. Now the nice thing about templates is we can also set up a production rate calculator for our salt. Now let's say we would put down half a ton of salt every acre. I can go one acre per half ton of salt. And I'll hit save. And now what I've done is set up my default times and material quantity applications for how much salt we should put down and how long it's gonna take us to plow a standard one acre lot. And when I get to estimating, all we're gonna do is enter the size of the lot and it'll automatically calculate based on that size how long it should take and how much salt we should put down. But just to show you what else you can do in here, we've got a lot plowing temp, but we haven't really dealt with the walks. Now you could choose to deal with the walks in its own template if you wanted that you would add individually. But if you always do walks on a site, you may wanna build your walks right into this template as well. So I'll just add to it. I'm just gonna to go to add items. This time I'm gonna add a walk shoveler. Walk shovelers maybe just go around in a regular crew truck. And for their material, they're just gonna need bag salt. So I'll drop that in as well. Get that out of the way and once again, I gotta set up my production rate calculators for walkways. I'm just gonna put a little note in the description here that says walkways, just to help my estimator see that visually. Now I'll go to my production rate and I'm gonna say they can do 1,500 square feet. Let's say that's cleared and salted each hour. Again, their truck is gonna be the same units each hour. And then the bag salt Let's say we can do 7,500 square feet for one bag of salt. So now I have time to plow the lot and I've got time and salt to do the walkways all built into one template. I will save the changes and I'm pretty much done. Now I can take this another step further, go to the notes section and under the customer notes, I'm gonna enter our standard terms and conditions that we use when pricing snow work. So these, this is the verbiage here that's gonna come out for the customer underneath my price for plowing and salting the snow, the lot. That's very handy to set up so you don't have to type it each and every time in your contracts. Although some people's contracts have all this verbiage at the end of the contract, and then in that case you don't necessarily need this level of description here. So I'll save that as well. So now I've got calculators, I've got all my labor equipment materials that my estimators to think about. I've got notes that should come out to my customer. Last thing I'll do is go to my categories and I'm gonna add that template to my snow and ice category so it's easy to find. Once I'm done here, 
I'm actually ready to, if I want, take this one more step further just to help me get it more accurate for other types of lots. This is an average lot. What if my estimators are estimating a difficult lot? I could leave it up to them to change those or override those factors, but we can also make a template for that as well. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna hit copy. But notice I'm not gonna hit copy until I filled out all the other things like notes, etc. because I want all those to carry over to my new one. I'll hit copy and this one I'm gonna call lot plowing, truck, difficult lot. Hit save. Now, because we copied our average one, all my old stuff comes over here. All I need to do is modify my production rates. If this is a difficult lot, it's gonna take us longer. So now we can only do 0.6 acres per hour. Now your salt's gonna be exactly the same. Doesn't matter if the lot's difficult or not. You're gonna put down the same amount of salt. And your shoveling of the walks, it's probably the same too. Unless the site has difficult walks, then it doesn't really matter how difficult the lot is, the walks are probably gonna be similar. But I'll leave it up to you whether you wanna adjust those other factors or not. So now I've very quickly, within just a couple of minutes, created two lot plowing templates that we're gonna use for estimating. Let me jump over to an estimate now and see how this looks when you use it. Here I've got an estimate already set up a little bit with some customer information and a job site. The first thing I'm gonna to need to do before I use my template is figure out how large this site is. So I'm gonna use the measure site button over here. Now up comes a, a measurement or a picture of my lot. So I'm gonna draw an area around that lot here. We'll get it close enough. And now I get a measurement of 0.34 acres. So we'll use that to price this job. I'll go back here and I'm going to go to services and pricing and let's pretend for the sake of this estimate we're just doing a per push price. Obviously there's lots of other combinations. We'll deal with those in the estimating videos. I'm going to add service and I'm going to go plow and salt lot. The billing type is going to be per visit because it's per push. I'll just leave the visits at one. Now we're going to go over here to add items and templates. I could add all my items individually, but since we've already built a template, let's jump over to that and let's use this lot plowing truck average lot template that we just built. Click the plus button and all the items come in. I'll get this out of the way and now I'm ready to calculate my quantities. I simply click this and it asks me how many acres. We'll say 0.35 and it calculates that we should be there for half an hour plowing. Same thing with the equipment but it should dawn on you that it's gonna be exactly the same as the labor, 0.5. Now I've got my salt. If it's 0.5 an acre, we're gonna need a quarter ton of salt. And now I've got my walkways to estimate. I didn't measure my walkways in that last map, but to save time, let's imagine the walkways on that property are 600 square feet. So I'll put that in there and it works out that that's gonna be almost half an hour of time. Same thing for the truck, of course. And then for the salt, if we have 600 square feet, we're gonna estimate, it's 0 0.08 of a bag, but I set my salt bags to automatically round up to the nearest quarter. So I've got a quarter bag. Now, if I look at the pricing here, I've got a price per visit of $106.24. And that includes a quick plow and a quick shoveling and salting of the walkways at a 14% profit. At this point, I can do whatever I want to the job. I can increase my profit margins using a couple of tools, both here and here. I can double check my times, but note also that all my client notes for plowing and salting the lot have already been filled out for me because they came over for the template. Once you get your templates down, you can start building estimates super quickly for snow and ice jobs with all the right information coming in almost automatically. You simply need to calculate the size of the lot, feed that into your template, and all the thinking's been done for you. Of course, it doesn't replace an estimator who knows the variables about a site. You gotta look at things like drainage and curb placement, potential problems and risk, and make your adjustments to the quote for all that kind of stuff. But in a normal, easy scenario, we've set up most of the hard work for your estimators already. That's how to use work area templates for snow. If you have any questions about how to set up a work area template or how to use one, be sure to reach out to us at support at goelement.com.